Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about Stirling numbers. In fact, we will learn about Stirling numbers of the first kind. Uh, check the link in the description for exercises and other learning tools on combinatorics. What is it? What is the meaning of Stirling number of the first kind? It's very simple. It is denoted by the symbol S R N. You basically have R distinct objects. R distinct objects. And N circular tables. N tables non distinct. So the tables are not distinct. Then SRN denotes the number of ways, the number of ways of arranging. the R objects in the N tables. Okay, so that's the meaning of SRN, which is the Stirling number of the first kind. Remember, you are not only distributing the objects in the N tables, after distributing them, you are also arranging them. So there are two steps in some sense, distribution and arrangement. Distribution and arrangement. Let's take an example. Let's take an example. What is S62? Let's look at that. So we have two tables which are non distinct, two circular tables. In fact, let's do an even easier case. Let's do S42. It will be simpler. Uh, there are four objects A1, A2, A3, A4. The question is in how many ways can you distribute these four objects around these two tables and then arrange them? Make sure that no table is empty. So how do we do it? Well, we have to do case work. Case 1 is 1 plus 3. Case 2 is 2 plus 2. That means either there is one object in a table and three objects in the other one. Or you have two objects in each table. Nothing else can happen. So the first case is quite simple. You select the three objects in four choose three ways. So suppose you select A1, A2, A3 in the first table. 
and then you arrange these things. So it's a circular permutation. You arrange it in two factorial ways, these three objects. You select three objects and then you arrange them around the table in two factorial ways because it's a circular permutation. And the remaining one object will sit alone in the other table. And it really doesn't matter which table the three objects are in because the word which table doesn't really have any meaning because the tables are non-distinct. Tables are not distinct. So the case one is two factorial four choose times four choose three. Okay, so what is the case two? Well, you do four choose two. So you choose two of the four objects and you distribute them in one factorial ways around the tables. But you have to be very careful here because one factorial is only one. So really, you don't have to worry about that. Four choose two. So you choose two out of four objects. Maybe you chose A1, A2. Then the other table has A3, A4. But then another of the four choose two choices is this case a3 a4 and the remaining a1 a2 simply stays here on the other table but in some sense but essentially these two cases are the same cases essentially these two cases are the same cases right so what you have to do is you have to divide by two factorial because every time you choose two objects you do not get a different case because the tables are indistinguishable. So the final answer that is the value of S42 is 42 is two factorial times 4 plus 1 by 2 factorial times 4 choose 2 is 4 times 3 by 2. So the answer is the value is 8 plus 3 11. So S42 turns out to be 11. Here are some questions for you and more questions are in the link. What is S R R minus 1? What is the value of that? Can you find out S 5 3? And can you find out a recursive formula? Formula for S R N. We discussed these things in the combinatorics module of Chinta Mathematics Olympiad program. You can check in the link in the description for more information related to that. Keep on doing great mathematics and I will see you in the next video.